It was a dream come true when Horsehead's Dylan Manwaring signed at the Atlanta Braves last week. After playing shortstop and pitcher in high school, things are going to have to be different to fulfill it. Manwaring was drafted as a third baseman for the Braves and will report to Orlando for rookie ball in the Gulf Coast League this Sunday. Of course, a lot of big names in Braves history at that spot, most notably a guy named Chipper Jones. Yeah, you might know him. And if you ask Dylan who his favorite player from Atlanta is, well, that's easy. Yeah, I guess Chipper, you know, hopefully I can, uh, you know, be half, have a half as good a, a career as him uh, and uh, so be playing the, uh, the hot corner and hopefully one day I'll, I'll be playing the hot corner in, uh, in Atlanta. Mario and Brett Whelan all make first team all stack baseball for horse sets. Corning also put three on the all-stack as well. Zach Sullivan, Nate Grant, and Ty Timmerman make the cut. Congrats to all the players on the great accomplishment for them. Now this Monday starts Matt Birch baseball camp at Dunn Field for kids ages 5 to 18, which highlights pitching and mechanics. Now Birch is the head coach for the Amara Pios and was a first-round MLB draft pick by the Kansas City Royals in 1998 at pitcher. For more information, visit SweenEnterprises.com. Well, when you win a national championship, work never stops. Elmira College women's hockey accomplished that just a few months ago, and head coach Dean Jackson and his staff, they just keep on working. Their job is now recruiting some of the best players in the country for another national crown. The coaches, get this, literally just pulled off the highway from Massachusetts this afternoon on a trip to speak with us. As for the process here so far, it's pretty good. We've already begun recruiting for the following class, for the uh, class of 2018, and uh, it never stops. We're going to be recruiting throughout the uh, throughout the summer. Um, you know, moving forward for for the next class. Well, it's happening again for the fourth year straight. A bill to try to legalize MMA has stalled in the New York State Assembly. This means the sport will remain banned from the state for another year. Amateur fights will still be legal but not professional. New York's still the only state without mixed martial arts. A little flashback to end out with tonight. Let's go back to November 2010. Elmira Heights, John Franchi on the left here in his last fight in New York State. This, of course, was at Seneca Niagara Casino, where MMA can happen on the Indian reservation up there. John won this fight over Matt McCook by decision.